welcome to a new video welcome to my new monthly reset and plan with me routine i've been wanting to do this for such a long time but if you're new here hi i'm gabby i'm 29 i am french i have a little boy who is nine months old and i create a lot of lifestyle content through vlogs with motherhood productivity self-care and all of that so if that's something you're interested in do join the fam i would love to have you here and i've been really trying to get my life back on track back on being productive and knowing where i'm going so in today's video we are going to tackle something that i've been wanting to do for such a long time because i used to be someone who was very organized very knowing where she was going loving to have a plan and then i got pregnant and i had a baby and nine months in and i i feel overlooked I feel all over the place so i'm gonna put that down because i don't trust myself right now in the past few weeks i've been really struggling because oliver started daycare so i was really happy to have a few hours during the week to get things done and then he got sick we all got sick a second time <laughs> and then i just felt like so lost feeling like i didn't know where i was going i felt so overwhelmed and i just lost hope that at some point i would just do what i want to do and achieve what i want to achieve but i've been thinking recently that it's because i do not know where i'm going and, and i think it's like having all of those things that you want but not having a plan that has been really tricky for me and in the wise words of taylor swift if you fail to plan you plan to fail so i've been wanting to do something that would be recurrent but not too often. The best thing for me to do is to do a monthly reset. I love the start of a new year because I love the idea of a fresh, clean slate of all the possibilities and, and having a, a whole year to get things done. But I love the idea of starting each month, reflecting on the past month, and then starting over with that and knowing what you want to do that month. I feel like it's going to really help me feel more clear-headed, more motivated and have a better structure into how i do things because i have all of those things that i want to do but it just feels like they're sprinkled and i want a clean list of things i want to do how i want to do them and when i want to do them so to start with april april was quite a good month in the sense that i feel like the first three months of the year were really really difficult i think i was really lost regarding what i wanted to do i had set some goals of course but well of course for me it's of course i didn't really know the timing of anything and as soon as oliver started daycare he started getting sick a lot which meant that we were getting sick it was that weird time of year during like winter months when you don't really feel motivated to do anything you feel tired you feel kind of sluggish i started being able to work on my business and i started feeling like okay okay i have some pocket of time to do things but i felt a bit overwhelmed a bit i don't know i think i really lost confidence in what i wanted to do and i feel like in april i got a better hang of it a feeling like i am capable of doing anything that i want i just need to get started and i i worked on a few projects that i was really excited about and i felt like I had found my spark again a little bit and it happened to me all over my 20s of that thing of like losing yourself for a little bit and then kind of finding something that feels more like you and I think it's part of growing up and discovering who you are and this new version of yourself because I think you keep changing as life goes on and in april i felt like it was kind of a breakthrough month for me i felt really excited we worked on a few things for our personal life that are super exciting we're gonna move on to the laptop right now oh this is really going to annoy me what we're going to start with are listing three things that i, I achieved in the past month <laughs> i finished a book I, I love books. I am someone who loves reading and finds so much pleasure in it and I feel so much calmer when I'm reading but I've been finding it really difficult to read recently because having Oliver, I always have something to do but also working on a business, working on my YouTube channel, you know like working on the house and everything, cleaning and stuff. There's always something to do and I've been really working on not always being on my computer or on my phone and rather read my book so I managed to finish 
finish a book this month. I'm really, really proud that I did that. The book that I read is fantastic. Um, It's Something in the Water. I loved it so, so much. Anyways, I'll talk about it in my future video, my self-care video. What did we do? We went out on a family visit to a big park for the day and we were a little bit nervous about this regarding Oliver but not too much because he's doing really really good but we were a bit nervous about how we would it would go because it was a lot of hours <laughs> there and we were not close to home or anything so actually we did pretty good so I'm really proud of that another thing that I achieved was I managed mm, to finish two first drafts for three projects that I'm so happy with and I like to let things sit for a little bit before working on them again. I feel like I pour my ideas into something and then I go back to it for a little bit and I work on it again and I do that for a, a few weeks and then I let it sit for a little bit and I don't touch it for a while because it really helps me to get newer ideas, newer like a newer perspective on what I'm doing and to be able to correct a few things, to do a few things a bit better. And I'm really proud that I managed to work on those three projects. Now we're going to move on. Three things I'm grateful for that happened in the month of April. I think we all need that at some point to be like, I'm being very negative right now, but I, I do have so much to be grateful for. Um. Oh, I was really happy that I was able to read in our backyard. Oliver was taking a nap, it was a beautiful day and unfortunately now we're facing north whereas in our previous apartment we were facing south so so nice and I was so grateful for that little moment of self-care another thing that I'm grateful for, TTPD <laughs> it's i mm, i love taylor swift so much and i was able to film a react video with my sister and i'm so grateful for that because we're swifties through and through we've been since 2008 and i was so grateful to be able to enjoy discovering the album with my sister and and having this memory of the two of us together and i think it was such a fun thing to film it and i'm so happy that i did because i i had the best time editing that video I laughed so hard. I'm so glad that there is a representation of the good time that we had together. The next thing that I'm grateful for, I'm going to be very cheesy right now, but my my little family. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like my partner and I have been together for 13 and a half years, and we've gone through a lot, and we've always talked about having having children. My pregnancy was great but hard at the same time. My delivery was horrible. My postpartum, like immediate postpartum was really hard and then the first like seven months were very difficult and now we've been really able to enjoy it and being together and having a routine and really enjoying Oliver he's growing up so much he is starting to really enjoy walking and standing he's so funny as well which I love I'm really really grateful for that and to have them and to be able to enjoy life with them and next uh, three things I struggled with in the past month productivity. I think it was due to the fact that I was feeling really lost, that I didn't really know what I was doing and where I was going. I had so many ideas, but also preconceived ideas of what I wanted to do, how I should do them. And I had to really sit in uncomfortable feelings at moments when I was feeling really down and very lost. Another thing that I struggled with, being, not being new at something, but doing something new. I don't know why I struggle to start something new because I think it's just mainly the fact that I hate being not great as soon as I start which is so silly because you need to do things a few times to get the hang of it and to get better at it but I really struggle with that and I just feel like if I start something and I'm not doing great or perfectly from the start I'm just like a loser and it's so silly and I need to stop doing that and just appreciate the journey of becoming better at doing something and when I started that project the ideas were something I'm very good at but putting them into place 
place meant that I had to learn to do things a different way or to do things on another platform. Doing something new is a bit stressful. Something else to be positive. I think it was mostly due to the fact that I'm someone who loves to have a plan for the months ahead. And it was really the month that kind of made me realize that I can have an idea of a plan, but I need to put things into place to get there and it's okay for me not being sure that I'm going to get somewhere at some point. I really struggled to see that as a good thing and I was really negative about everything, feeling like we'll never get to buy a house, we'll never get to go on vacation, I'll never get to set up my business because I'm really struggling to be productive, I'm struggling to feel like I can do it. It was all a lot of negative emotions. Yeah, it was just like... Next, we have my May goals. I've been kind of brainstorming this for the past few days. I've been writing a few things down. What I like to do is to break everything down in four categories. I have my personal goals, wellness goals, financial goals, and business career goals. I have a clear idea. And the first one that I wrote down is that I really want to stick to my healthy habits in the next month because... <sighs> It's been really difficult to stay healthy since having Oliver, but I've been really settling into a routine of working out, eating healthier, drinking more water, and I want to keep that going because I've really felt the difference, especially when I, I really stick to the kind of timetable that I've set for myself regarding that, which is every morning that Oliver goes to daycare, I do a workout. I try to do a little bit of meditation or journaling as well. In terms of water, Water, I try to drink outside of meals two of these which are 500 ml at least that and then drink on top of that during meals I've been really feeling foggy and and very tired and I think it was also due to the fact that I was not drinking enough so I'm really trying to keep on doing that and for eating for me it's mostly trying to eat more vegetables and not be too like to be more disciplined with it because I love vegetables I've always eaten vegetables a lot but sometimes with like our chaotic routine since having a baby it's harder for me to like cook vegetables if I just want to get like a quick meal and I need to stop doing that I've been preparing more in advance so that I have vegetables for at least like two three meals and it's been way better for me next up we have journal at least four times a month this was something that I was doing way more often before I think it really was all about discipline for me because I started struggled to find the time during the day to do it but not find the time but make time for it and I wanted to do it in the morning mostly before but doing it in the morning was like where does it fit into my routine and now that I have a way more structured routine I know where it could go and I also know that it could be the three mornings that Oliver goes to daycare I can do that then so we have three times and another time could be during either one of the days of the week that Oliver's at home or during the weekend but i feel like four times is manageable next up we have finish three secret projects this one goes into career and this one is really the ones that i was telling you about i'm so excited for them and at the same time i'm really nervous and i have a lot of imposter syndrome i'm also realizing because whenever i talk about them with my my family and my friends they're like oh my god yeah that's so you and then when i'm working on them and I'm, I'm like but i'm not doing a good job i could be doing so much better this is not great that's also my perfectionist side coming through i've been working on for years and years but sometimes it's just like pops out and i'm like nothing is perfect you're not doing a good job and it doesn't need to be perfect for me to put it out i think it's, it just needs to be good enough at some point so i need to finish those and i need to work on when to release them next one i would love to do is post at least three videos on youtube in may this has been so much more of a struggle than I was thinking because at the beginning I was like, yeah, I'm going to go back to hosting once a week. It takes so long to edit YouTube videos. I don't think people who don't do YouTube realize, but it takes hours and hours and hours. And I think most of my videos take about 20 to 30 hours to edit at least. And I've never really wrote down the times that I've been working on them, but I should. So it's really hard for me to find those hours to work on them. So I've been mostly posting like 
like twice a month but i'm really really hoping that i can like upload three videos so we're gonna manifest that by writing it down next up we have take more photos with oliver it's really true that mothers never really have photos with their babies because they're the ones with the camera i have so many photos of my partner and my baby of my mother and my baby of my sister and my baby of my dad with my baby of of our dog <laughs> with our baby but i don't have that many of me and i think at the beginning it was mostly because i was postpartum and i i, I felt like shit and then after that it was more of a body image problem and sometimes right now it's still that but also it's like nobody really has the reflex to take photo of me and my son and i need to take photos myself with like my camera and my phone my self timer and and my tripod and and do that this month because otherwise i'm just going to wake up one day and i won't have that many photos of me and my baby and i'm so sad about that and like i mentioned i love reading and it really helps me to read that very good book to fall back into that rhythm of the habit of picking up my book instead of my phone or instead of my laptop to watch a video and rather get immersed into a story because when i'm doing that i can't do anything at the same time I, i'm not on my phone i'm not watching something and picking up my phone it's like this one thing that really helps me to rest my mind and i really would love to read two books i do know that my mother has a book from an author that i love which is lisa jewel because we got it for her for christmas and she found it again a few weeks ago i'm hoping she read it so i can borrow it and i'm pretty sure she has other ones because we love buying books and my mother always has so many books in advance and the last one is very exciting is to buy my wedding dress and to finish planning for my hair and my makeup yeah if you've watched one of my previous vlogs i'll put it up here we are planning our wedding we are doing a very small wedding we got engaged last year in may in lake como and we were not really set on a timeline of doing it because because I was like eight months pregnant I think we didn't really know when it was going to happen and at the beginning of the year we were like you know what might as well do it this year because we're not doing a very big wedding we were working on it like slowly and slowly and in April I was really working on finding my dress which I thought I had found the thing is it's a fake of a real dress that exists and I felt way too bad <laughs> about feeling like I'm stealing a designer's design and paying 10 percent of the price for it so as much as i love that dress i'm thinking like i'm just going to let it go and i think i found i have like four potential wedding dresses they're really not what i had in mind in terms of color and in terms of what it looks like i'm, I'm working on that but i really like them the only thing is that my favorite one which i will need to tweak but they don't have my size anymore so i'm waiting for that email to say that my size is back in stock but we'll see but really Really this month in May I really need to buy it because we're getting married very very soon and if I don't have my dress I'm going to like freak out also I need to plan for my hair and my makeup I think I'll do my makeup myself but for my hair I'm thinking that I need to go to a hairdresser for it but we're having a little bit of problems with logistics because we're getting married late morning and on a Monday in France a lot of businesses are closed on Mondays but also they won't open as early as I would need them to to be ready on time so i need to work on that so that's that for the may goals in terms of looking at where i am on my 2024 long-term goals get oliver into daycare part-time we did it i'm really happy we started the year really wanting him to go into the daycare for me um to be able to start work again but also because we really felt like he was missing having time with other kids we don't have other kids like in our family they're older we only have one couple who has a baby and we don't get to see them as much as we would want we felt it was really important for him to be social with other kids so that's all good work on a plan for business i'm working on it very hard take better care of my mental health through pilates walks therapy stretches stretches i'm not doing which i should therapy i have an appointment in two days but i've been not very consistent with it before i used to go every three weeks but then if I, we moved and it was 
more complicated with Oliver. And last time I had an appointment with her was in February. So it's been about three months. I haven't felt as much need for it as in the past. I need to be better at that. And Pilates, I'm doing so good. And walks, I'm doing so good. So I'm really happy. Drink more water, eat more greens and fruit. I'm doing so happy with that. Spend more time being creative. I'm definitely doing that. I'm not as consistent on Instagram as I would like to be, but I also think that I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to be everywhere and I can't do that. So working on that, I'm doing a lot more reels though, which I'm very happy about. Plan our wedding, we're working on it, so exciting. Put less pressure on being a perfect mom and focus on doing my best whilst taking care of myself. Not there yet, but we're, we're making progress. Putting pressure on myself is something that I've been prone to because I'm a perfectionist, like I said, so I want everything to be perfect. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself for everything, for how people perceive me, for the work that I'm doing, for who I am, how I talk, how I behave. I just want to be perfect and that's not good. So I, I've always wanted to be as good as of a mom as I would like to be, but I forget that I'm a human being. And when I'm tired, I have less patience but i'm working on that because i think it goes hand in hand with me taking care of myself being creative and, and getting to do my own little project and, and having my own time for that really really has been helping so i'm so happy with that the next thing is work on life plans for a happy future this one well for the wedding we're good house we're postponing because we'll, we're, we're figuring it out we don't really know where we don't really know when pets same kind of waiting for the house for that as well not there yet but in progress and the other one is start earning money through business we're not there yet because i haven't launched anything the last part that i'm really trying to incorporate like i mentioned is some journaling i will try at the end of every month to do a little bit of journaling like anything that comes through my mind as in how the past month went thoughts that I've been having, put everything down just so that I start with kind of a clear mind, a clear slate. Okay, I'm happy with that. I do feel better. So that's really something that I need to do more of. Like journaling really helps me to clear my mind. <laughs> that's going to be it for my video this month. I'm really looking forward to be at the end of May and see how I, it went and, and to look back on everything. And yeah, it's been really fun. And I feel like I have a clear idea of the next steps for everything because it's nice to have a final goal, but it's really easier to have smaller goals in between and to be able to kind of assess how you're doing and where you're going and it's been lacking in my life lately and I'm so happy to be in a position mentally to be able to do that again. See you guys in the next one. Bye!